yours is a voice of criticism we don't often hear in the United States. Um, often when there is dissent expressed in the United States against policies of the Israeli government, um, uh, people here are called anti-Semitic. Uh, what is your response to that as an Israeli Jew? Well, it's a trick. We always use it. When from Europe somebody is criticizing Israel, then we bring up the Holocaust. When in this country people are criticizing Israel, then they are anti-Semitic. And the organization is strong and has a lot of money. And the the ties between uh, Israel and the American esta Jewish establishment are very strong and they are strong in this country. As you know, uh, they have power, which it's okay, they are talented people and they have power, money and uh, media and other things. And their attitude is Israel, my country, right or wrong, the identification and they are not ready to hear criticism and it's very easy to blame people who criticize certain acts of the Israeli government as anti-semitics and to bring up the Holocaust and the suffering of the Jewish people and that's, that justify everything we do. How powerful um, are groups uh, like the uh, American-Israel Political Affairs Committee, APAC, um, the presidents of, uh, of Jewish major Jewish organizations in the United States, that's another major establishment Jewish organization. How powerful are they uh, in determining policy in Israel? They are powerful because they serve the right wing of Israeli policy and because they are backed strongly by the government of the United States. If uh, your administration wouldn't, and not only administration, but the Congress as well, wouldn't back those two organizations, then they wouldn't be as strong as they are.